Hi, this is Dean from Sentinel Candles. In today's project, I'm going to be doing a really small test. I have a cavity here that I'm going to fill with goat's milk. Then I'm going to use my bright colors, which I got the other day, uh, purple, pink, and yellow. And I'm just going to drizzle them on top. Then I'm going to use a bamboo stick and mix them in. I'm going to let that set for a few hours and then see how it turns out. If it turns out okay, then I'm going to make a big loaf of it. So that will be after this video. Let's get started. Okay, because this is a test, I don't need to spray this, but I'm using goat's milk and it's about 100 grams. Okay, I'm just gonna spray that. Now here's the tricky bit, and I don't know if this is actually gonna work or not. I'm gonna just drizzle. This is pink. I thought about going straight up and down, but that's just so boring. So I'm going to all over the place. There we go. Okay, so now it's all in there. What I'm just going to do is make what they call an eight figure, I think. And we'll see how this comes out. I'm going to see how that turns out in the next hour. I'm going to cut it up into little small bits so I can actually see what's inside because when I do my big loaf I'm going to be able to cut it and hopefully see the same thing. Okay so I'm going to unmold this now and see how it looks. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. That really turned out quite nice. I think it, a big full loaf is in order. Coming up next. In today's project, I'm gonna be making a Japanese honeysuckle loaf using my one kilogram silicon mold. I'm gonna be using 550 grams of goat's milk soap and also 550 grams of crystal clear soap. My fragrance is Japanese honeysuckle from Natural Candle Supply. I'm using two colors. This is magenta violet, and this one is hot pink. The idea of this design is to pour some soap into the mold and then just drop the color dye in over the top, and then I'm gonna swirl it around. I'm gonna wait for that to set, and then I'm gonna do my next part. And I'm thinking probably three layers in here. Uh, I don't wanna pour one layer because I know that these will sink to the bottom like the test beforehand. Okay, a little update. As it's turned out, I think the best way to do this is actually two pours. So I'm gonna pour half now and then half later. And this is an experiment. I have never done this before apart from the test that I tried about three hours ago. It kind of worked, so let's get started. I'd also like to point out why I'm using goat's milk soap and crystal clear soap in the same melt. And that is when you add crystal clear to a, like a goat's milk soap base, you actually get a brighter color than what you would if you just use goat's milk soap. So that's why I'm using crystal clear and goat's milk. The base is at 130 degrees. This is goat's milk and clear mixed together. 550, I'm just gonna pour this. Spills all over the place. Spray it with rubbing alcohol. Okay, so that's, I'm doing this rush because unfortunately this stuff sets really quickly. So it's about, it's about 124 at the moment. So I've only got a little window to do this in. So this is the purple, only a really tiny small amount of it. I'm just gonna pour it, that sunk instantly. Okay, I oh know, it's sitting on the surface. That's not so bad. So right to the end. Okay, I'm gonna spray that. Okay, so this is the pink. And that's sunk a little bit, but also sitting on the surface. So that doesn't look too bad at the moment. There's a little bit of purple and a lot of pink. So this is the bit where hopefully the magic comes in. This is just the chopstick and just going to go back and forth and around the edge 
All right. So that has left an interesting pattern on top. Not much purple, a lot of pink. I'm thinking the purple might be more towards the bottom. So now I'm just gonna wait for that to set and I'll be back to pour the next layer. Okay, so my melted base has just reached uh, 130 degrees on this is the second pour. So I'm just gonna spray this with rubbing alcohol. And you can see in there, it's white. It's scented. This is 10 mils of uh, Japanese honeysuckle and I'm going to pour it. Okay, spread top. I'm not going to put a top on this particular loaf. So this is purple. And this is hot pink. So before I used the big stick to pour this around, I think it was a chopstick, and now I'm gonna use just a bamboo stick. And you can see that's going. Yeah, it's got a skin on it already, and now it's moving with me. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, so it's the next morning, and I'm gonna unmold this Japanese honeysuckle. All right, well that's not so bad. It's not as colorful as I thought it would be. There's more white in there. Still, nice, good connection. Didn't hit the bottom, which is very surprising. I thought a lot of the purple would have hit the bottom. Okay, so when I first started this loaf, I was trying to make it like cold process with all the swirls and pretty things that they do in them. But as it's turned out, you can't do it. Well, I can't do it anyway. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Um, I would have liked a little bit more of the swirls to be uh, consistent. They seem very faded when you look at them. It's more like spots than anything else. But the tops are really beautiful. And I love the colors. So I'm very happy with the results. This is Japanese Honeysuckle. Thanks for watching.